Greetings, my name is Sina Rabani. I'm the Dean of the DeMath School of Engineering and Applied Science here at Hofstra University. I'm honored and privileged to welcome you to our virtual commencement ceremony. I would like to begin by extending my heartfelt congratulations to the DeMath School graduating class of 2020. During these challenging times, I'm grateful for the opportunity to celebrate this milestone with you and your proud families. Although our traditional graduation was upended by the pandemic, we are able to join together virtually in front of our computers, phones, and tablets, and across different time zones to celebrate your accomplishments. Your undergraduate experience changed in an unexpected and unprecedented way back in March when we switched suddenly from classrooms and laboratories to remote learning but you have grown up with many such challenges. Your graduating class grew up between 9-11, the Great Recession of 2008, and now the coronavirus pandemic, which has changed our lives in so many ways. Your remarkable resilience and perseverance carried you across the finish line to join the community of future Hofstra alumni. Although these are difficult times, Great opportunities are waiting ahead for engineers and computer scientists. Your education at the DeMatha School has constructed the foundation for you to build your success upon. It has already instilled confidence, inspiring you to imagine what you are capable of next. Each and every one of you should reach out and use your innovative mindset to tackle critical global challenges and make our world a better place. The last four plus years may have been a balancing act between studying to master challenging topics while also working to help for your education. I'm sure there have been awkward moments of self-doubt throughout your, these years. Perhaps a small failure or a great challenge may have caused you to question yourself and your abilities, and maybe even made you wonder if you could succeed. You probably felt on several occasions that courses you found difficult were easy for others. However, your hard work has catapulted you to a new level of achievement, probably higher than you ever imagined possible. You may not have always had the time to reflect on this growing process, but undoubtedly, you now have found memories that will stay with you through your careers. As aspiring computer science and engineering students, you have learned to apply your math and science knowledge to modeling the real world in code or by designing complex systems. Today's engineering solutions are far more impactful than ever. Anything you create on a computer can now be turned into reality via 3D printing, sparking immediate satisfaction. Just as cloud computing improves the efficient use of servers or self-driving electric cars reduce fossil fuel demand, our graduates with quality technical education are at the forefront of innovation and make an immediate impact on our world. The knowledge base that you acquired at Hofstra will serve as a great tool in solving problems throughout your life. Your success correlates just as closely with confidence as it does with competence. But please remember that learning does not stop once you leave Hofstra. It is a lifelong endeavor. You must continue to learn with an engineering and scientific mindset. You must also keep an open mind to new ideas and experiences, and above all, you must exercise the utmost integrity in all of your pursuits. Your approach to learning and to life will enable you to decide where to take risks and where to push boundaries to move forward. I urge you not to forget where you came from. Please remember who you learned from, the devotion of Hofstra's faculty to teaching, and helping students to learn and grow is second to none. And please, no matter where you go and where you end up, remember that you are representative of Hofstra University. You are the living legacy of Hofstra.
graduation naturally encourages us to reflect back on your experiences. I hope that you realize that you have grown to become a part of something bigger than yourself. Your time here at Hofstra has shaped your character, instilled in you a foundation for learning, connected you with lifelong friends, and opened doors for career opportunities. Congratulations to all of you on a job well done, to your family and friends that served as your pillars of support and contributed to your success, and best wishes to the future during these times of uncertainty. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the person who leads our university, President Stuart Rabinowitz. Welcome. I want to extend a welcome to the parents and our faculty and our guests, but most importantly of all, I want to welcome our graduates to this online commencement. When we postponed commencement this past May, we had hoped that we would be able to come together this month in August for a delayed celebration. But it has become clear that that plan was not possible. The celebration of your accomplishments and the formal awarding of your degree became even more important and more crucial to us. So the, the final chapter of your college career was not what you had imagined or we had imagined it would be. Instead, you found yourself in the middle of this crazy pandemic that cost lives and caused unparalleled upheaval and change in ways that no one could ever have imagined. And of course, we wish it would have been otherwise. But we need to take this opportunity to applaud your strength and your perseverance in completing your degree, which will stand you in good stead as we move beyond this crisis. And even though we are looking forward to your returning to our campus in May 2021 for your opportunity to walk across the stage and celebrate your one year reunion, Today, let's take a few moments to formally award your degree and recognize each one of you individually. I will focus my very brief remarks in this complex time on a very simple message. You have earned our congratulations and our admiration. You have worked hard, you have learned well, and you are ready to make your mark on the world. And I urge you to do so. I urge you to be informed and active participants in the democratic process so that you can help your generation in solving the daunting challenges which face our country and our world in the 21st century. Indeed, in my opinion, the world desperately needs your generation to help overcome the challenges which my generation and others have not yet solved not the least of which is how to save our air and our ocean, and indeed our planet, for your children and grandchildren, for my three-year-old grandson Jack, his children, and his grandchildren. You have already lived through great challenges, and thanks to your education, your innate abilities, and your hard-earned accomplishments, you are prepared to meet the challenges of tomorrow and to help us through the challenges we face today. So I will close these brief remarks today as I have for all of my years as president, and that is simply by wishing each of our graduates well. I wish that each of you attain all the success that you think you need and all that work and ability earn for you. I wish you will have the perspective to forgive yourself and learn from the mistakes because mistakes are inevitable. I wish you the tenacity, the courage, and frankly, I wish you the good fortune to someday find a life's work about which you feel passionate, rather than simply settling for one which neither challenges nor fulfills you. I wish you the very special sense of satisfaction and self-worth that I have found comes only from using at least some of your talent and energy to help those who are in need. And I wish you the wisdom to for, not to forego the love of family and friends in a relentless pursuit of material success. 
And finally, I wish that you not become so preoccupied with achieving some cherished goal on some faraway date that somehow you fail to appreciate each and every day of your life. The class of 2020 leaves here with our admiration and our affection. We enjoyed teaching from you, and indeed we enjoyed learning from you. We hope that you will maintain your ties to your classmates and to your alma mater, and know that from this day forward, your accomplishments will always be the most important driver of the reputation of the value of a Hofstra education. You will always be an important member of the Hofstra University community. Hofstra will always welcome you home. On behalf of the faculty and the administration and the staff, I extend to each of you our heartiest congratulations and our warmest wishes for your success and your happiness. Good luck. And now it's my pleasure and my honor to introduce the fabulous chair of the Hofstra University Board of Trustees, Chairperson Donald Schaefer. Thank you, President Rabinowitz. I would like to take a moment on behalf of the Board of Trustees to congratulate the class of 2020 on your graduation and welcome you, your families, and friends to this online celebration of your academic achievement. As President Rabinowitz said, this is not the celebration we envisioned for you. The pandemic changed your senior year suddenly and dramatically, and yet you have responded with grace and gumption. You have overcome the challenges of your final academic year, you have persevered, and you have successfully completed your degree. We hope you will come back and celebrate your one-year reunion and commencement in person in May of 2021. Your class, the class of 2020, will be known for its resilience and determination. We are proud of you and acknowledge the hard work and dedication that you have displayed in reaching this wonderful day. We hope that you will follow your passions and are confident that your future will be exemplary. Please know that Hofstra will always be here for you as you go forward. You are an important part of the enduring bond of the Hofstra family, and we look forward to your leadership role in providing guidance and support to the Hofstra students who will be following in your footsteps. Because today we are celebrating your accomplishments online, I can't give each of you my customary handshake as you receive your well-earned degree. So instead, I give you my virtual handshake on a job well done. Congratulations. Where minds are filled with wonder and hearts are full of pride, there stands our alma mater, so radiant to shine. Nurturing thy scholars, like parents raise their young. Dear Hofstra, we are grateful, and thus we thank thee for inspiring us and guiding us through all the great unknown. Oh, hail the blue and gold. Unrivaled motivation, invaluable and true, selfless with thy knowledge, and vision to pursue. Through all the lands we journey, thou shalt remain our home. Dear Hofstra, we are grateful, and thus we thank thee for inspiring us and guiding us Now, I'd like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Herman Berliner, for the conferral of your degrees. Thank you, Dean. 
Mr. President, I have the honor to present all the candidates who have completed all the requirements for the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Education, and Bachelor of Engineering as appropriate. Together with their dean and faculty, I recommend that you confer the appropriate baccalaureate degree upon these candidates. Graduates, by virtue of the power invested in me by the trustees of Hofstra University and by the regents of the state of New York, and upon the recommendations of your provost and your respective deans and your faculties, I am proud to confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Education, and Bachelor of Engineering as appropriate. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Kyle Ackerman. Grace Ann Ackman. Yusuf A. Afridi. Emily Alvarez. Alex William Arthur. Sage M. Bailey. Leonard Gerard Belfiore, Jr. Donna Kelly Marcella Botafiu. Justin Eli Cabot Miller. Patricia Steffi Castillo Lucas. Conrad Chen. Jiangpu Chen. Kenneth Choi. Nicholas Peter Chrisomalis. Elizabeth Mary Chivetti. Danielle Costa. Anna Swensa. Kevin P. Cunningham. Vincenzo Cuozo. Ron Diaz. Jose Alexander Diaz. Wilbert Joel Diaz. Nicolette Donardo. Nicole Margaret Duda. Christopher John Duran. Daniel Timothy Durkin. Avery Ann Erspel. Stamatios Evmorfiatis. Zane Mohammed Brook. Brian Fitzhenry. Christina Gaglio. Haotian Gu. Tommy Hai. Jake Peter Payne. Jonathan M. Parody. Liam Hartenstein. Adil Hashmi. Pablo Andres Fernandez Yepes. Kyle G. Hover. John Charles Hovestat Jr. Connor Pachala. Philip William Kandau. Eden Cohen Kashi. Victoria Kaimo. Joshua Kiss. George Alexandros Kantarakis. Wei Ting Kuo. Jabbar Earl Lemonius. 
Michael LaRusso. Lynn Pugh Wong. Daniel Mackey. Ephraim Marks. Jennifer Barbara Marquez Galdos. Kevin Thomas McCormick. Shelby Mitchell. Mason S. Mitchell. Russell Aaron Montalbano. Sarah Munir. Anthony Joseph Muscarello. Edwin Charles Nagel. Joseph John Neubauer. Allison Evelyn Newworth. Austin Lee Nyan. Jack Tyler Noneman. George Osterweil. Aaron Yusa, are you Gador? Oh yeah, and Burrow. No, Patel. No, Patel. Joanne Perigene. Ralph John Puglisi. Mark Reth Jr. Antonio James Repepe. Jeremy Dalton Robinson. Dominic J. Romano. Kevin Francisco Sanchez. Eric L. Saunders Jr. Jesse Shiner. J. Shaw. Namusakib Sheik. Chen Shen. Sumaya Afrin Trevona. Brandon G. Singh. Daniel Singh. Sukdeep Singh. Justin Thayer Smith. Roy Salmanovich. Kyle Matthew Somerlad. Thomas John Speranza. Nikos Stathopoulos. Siobhan Sturgis. Dov Stotchel. Sandra Rose Strange. Nishat Tarrant. Nick Torres. Alec Trenagle. Yi Tang Wang. Cherith R. Wakrema. Mr. President, I have the honor to present all the candidates who have completed all the requirements for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Science in Education, Master of Health Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Public Health, and advanced certificates as appropriate. Together with their dean and faculty, I recommend that you confer the appropriate master's degree upon these candidates. Graduates, by virtue of the power vested in me by the trustees of Hofstra University and by the regents of the state of New York and upon the recommendations of the provost and your respective deans and faculties, I am proud to confer upon you the degrees Master of Science, 
Master of Arts, Master of Science and Education, Master of Health Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Fine Arts, and Master of Public Health degrees and advanced certificates as appropriate. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Hadil Khalid Aladon. Famida Alam Anika. James Michael Cavanaugh. Camilo Chavez. Jack Robert Dem. Chen He Du. Jesse Friedman. Ryan Gane. Matthew L. Hirsch. Zin Hu. Aman Luthra. Olivia Macedo. Hugo Renzo Olsisi. Natalie Cecilia Sakira. Alexander Michael Speicher. Thanks, class of 2020. The times may be uncertain, but one thing is certain. You have met this extraordinary moment and taught us all about resilience, strength, and yes, Hofstra pride and purpose. We are so pleased that you are now joining an alumni community that is more than 140,000 strong, spread across all 50 states and more than 100 countries. And we are looking forward to welcoming you back to campus for a live in-person ceremony in May 2021 that will be all your own. And now, bachelor's degree recipients, to make this graduation ceremony complete, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.